the Christmas carol Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Within that carol, there is a there's lyrics in that carol that has the words God and sin is reconciled. What does that mean? Well, it's been heard all around the world. It's a popular carol and it was written by Charles Wesley. What does it mean by God and sin is reconciled? Well, obviously to be reconciled, there needs to be a separation first. So what separates between us, humanity or man and God? The, uh, the answer for that is found in Isaiah 59 verse 2. The Bible states we are separated from God by sin. And so Romans 3.23 states, For all have fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So it is sin that separates us from God. Because God is holy. He is just. Holy means separate. And we, we are sinners. We have sinned. We have broken God's law. And because of that, there is a, there is a big separation. And so there needs to be reconciliation. But that for sin, the just punishment is death and hell. So God sent his son to die on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross to pay the penalty on our behalf. We broke God's law by lying, stealing, lusting, coveting. And Jesus paid the fine. So God commands people everywhere to repent, turn from sin and put their faith in Jesus Christ alone for their salvation. And the evidence of salvation is a changed life and bearing good fruit. Uh, bearing good fruit uh, is found in Matthew chapter 7 verse 16 to 20 and John 15. And for changed life, that can be found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. So that's what it means. Anyone who repents, turns from sin, and puts their faith in Jesus Christ will be reconciled to God. They'll be, the relationship will be restored from what was from in the Garden of Eden that Adam uh, separated between man and God. And that's what it is. That's what that lyric means. That's what Charles Wesley meant. And so that's what Christmas is all about, really, that the... Babe in the manger was born to die, die for our sin on, for our sin, on our behalf. He took the penalty for us. What an amazing love! Thanks for watching. God bless.